Hey everybody, it's Peter from Brantford Kia and today we're going to talk about something that came directly from your comments on our YouTube channel. People wanted to see how the seats work in the Sedona for storage capacity, how they go up and down, and some of those features. So we're making this video just for you because of your comments. Now it can be a little bit tough to film these. Anytime you're filming inside of a car, camera angles can be weird. So we're going to do our best with it. If you have questions, let us know in the comments as well and we'll see if we can clarify from there. So let's go give it a whirl. All right, so I'm gonna start in the front seat of this Sedona. Now this is an LX Plus model, which is kind of uh, lower, mid-level, somewhere in that range. And you have a few options here that make it easier for your cargo storage. So people don't think about this all the time. But um, this seat here has two controls right here. And if you watch very carefully, you'll see that I can move the entire seat forward. It's a powered seat. And I can also tilt the front forward without leaving the driver's seat. So those are two controls that are there. Uh, you can use them to really tick off your passenger if they're in the front seat, which is kind of fun for me, when I, especially when I ride with our salesperson, Grant. But they're also really good for creating more storage room. You can see I can move the seat a long ways up. I'm still going forward. I'm still tilting forward. So right from the driver's seat, I can create passenger room, I can create cargo room, I can do all that without even leaving the driver's seat when I'm talking about the front passenger seat. So it's a feature that a lot of people don't realize that we have that is also handy. And it's just helpful to get your kids in and out, or maybe if you have an elderly passenger, you can help them get comfortable as well when they can't find the seat controls. So uh, yeah, I mean, it's just a great little system in the very front seat that creates some passenger space. Now we're gonna go to the middle row and show you some of those features in those seats. All right, so one of the things I love about the middle row is if you've got lots of cargo in your hands and you got to grab that door handle, sometimes that can be difficult to grab, pull out, slide back, all those things. This one's got a power door, so all I'm going to do is touch the button and the door opens, which makes it easier to just kind of just nudge it with your knuckle or something if you've got a lot of cargo in your hands. So inside, this is an eight passenger vehicle, which means that there's two seats in the front and then you've got three here and you've got three more in the back. So eight passengers, the center seat is removable. We're gonna get to that in a second. Um, I may or may not take it out, but I'll show you how it works. Um, the big thing with minivans, people talk about Chrysler stow and go. Now, credit to Chrysler, they've done a great job with their marketing and it practically makes a lot of sense. The seats go right to the floor, we don't have that. Now there's a couple reasons we don't have it because one thing Chrysler doesn't talk about is some of the side effects that you get from having stow and go seats. They're very, very small. They're very thinly padded because they have to be very compact to fit into a very small space in the floor. So let me show you this seat for a second. Got the headrest down there because I was playing with the seats earlier. This seat very comfortably fits an adult. Now I'm about six feet tall. You can see I've got quite long legs. The seat comes right to the end of my leg. So it's very comfortable that way. You, I've got it reclined now. You can move it to, you know, even more recline. You can sit upright. So a lot of comfort, a lot of comfort in this seat. You've got an armrest here. If you put the center seat down, you got an armrest on that side as well. And that's the big reason that most other competitors don't go with some sort of stow and go type seat is because you lose seat comfort. So if you're taking adults, and again, a lot of people say, well, our kids are only eight or our kids are only seven. And then they'll finance the vehicle for seven years and find out that their kid's 14 and taller than they are. So when you're buying a minivan, if you're buying, even for a young family of young kids, keep in mind they will grow and having that extra space for their gear, for their stuff, for their backpacks that they don't wanna throw on the back, that makes a difference and having comfortable seats makes a difference. So start with that. Seats are comfortable, they don't go on the floor, but how do you create a lot of floor space in this car? Well, it's very, very simple. So a couple things we can do. The seat, of course, can move forward, can move back just like any other seat. But the way you create floor space in this one is you lift this lever here. Very simple, kind of a two finger kind of thing. It's, it's sort of a cantilevered on its own and you've got all this space here. So can you fit a four by eight piece of plywood in here? I don't know, I've never tried, but that's kind of the point. Most people, the standard measurement for car reviewers, and I used to be a car reviewer, is will it fit a four by eight sheet of plywood? And almost nobody actually takes four by eight sheets of plywood in their minivan. There's tons of trucks around, that's what they're there for. So it'll create a ton of space, you'll still have your seats in the car, and they're easy to get to. So that's what I love about our seats. They're comfortable, they give you a ton of floor space because these vans are longer than some of the previous minivans, uh, even the Chrysler minivans from the past. They've got, they're quite a big van, uh, especially inside. So you've got all flat floor from here back. There is a third row of seats, they do fold into the floor. We're gonna show you about them in a second. So let's see if we can try to get an angle to show you the center seat now as well, because it's kind of unique. All right, so normally when I take the center seat out of this van, I do it from behind. But again, just camera angles. I haven't got all the greatest camera equipment and I don't want to do with 
16 cameras of editing. So I'll show you how this works as best I can sitting here. If it looks awkward from here, it's because it's really easy to do from behind, but it's just a lot of pictures of the back of my body when I do that. So first of all, you've got a headrest that's adjustable. It looks like a fairly narrow seat, but once again, you can fit a full-size adult here. You've got tons of knee room, tons of leg room. It does recline. I can show you that in a second. But you've got plenty of room here, even for an adult, to sit in the center here. And it's not that uncomfortable. Like for a center seat, most center seats in every car are, uh, you lose comfort. You do lose some comfort compared to these side seats, but you could certainly drive for an hour, a couple hours in this seat and be perfectly fine, even with an adult. So let's get that out of the way. Now, this seat is just like all the other seats. It rolls forward and back, so you can move that and that's handy. It also reclines. So you can go, you know, quite a ways forward, use it as an armrest. We'll put the headrest all the way down and it looks kind of neat. It's got cup holders in the back there for some storage, a little storage uh, place back there as well. And of course it also reclines all the way back. These seats are, you know, fairly far back as well. Um, whoops, I'll have to grab the wrong one there. There we go. So you can see the seats go quite a bit further. It goes all the way back, comes nice and upright as well. So that's kind of how that works. So what I'm doing to tilt it here is there's a little um, strap here. It looks like a mini seat belt. You're just pulling that. It's a two finger thing. Even your kids can do it on their own. From there, once it's folded down, there's a handle back here. Sorry, another strap back here. Same type of thing, it's a black strap. So gray strap goes first, the black strap, same idea. You pull it here and the whole thing tumbles forward. And again, it's cantilevered. So you're doing this with two fingers, there's no strength involved to do it. And it rolls forward. And depending on where I have the seat initially, it'll be forward or back. Now the big thing is from here, I pinch this and I can remove this seat. It's not that heavy. If I had to guess, and this is purely a guess, so don't hold me to it. It's probably about 20, maybe 30 pounds, probably not even 30 pounds. Um, it's quite easy to manage. Um, you know, it's, it's the same weight as a toddler is kind of the way I'm thinking about it. So whatever that weighs, uh, that's kind of how it feels. And it's quite easy to get out. Again, you put the seat back, you roll it up, you come out. It's on little wheels. So when you put it back in, you just wheel it up from the back. It locks into a track. You hear it click, you slam it down like that, and it's back out. So I'm not going to take it out just because that would look awkward in a video, but it is quite easy to do. And then you have a nice big aisle through the center here as well. Uh, that you can use. So storage ability in the center, seats fold up flat. This one's removable if you want even more space uh, or you can just tilt it, you know, got something long, you can put it right through over the driver's armrest, right up to the dash if you wanted. Need to remove it, you can do that as well. Now we're gonna go to the back seats and show you the options back there. All right, so when I do these videos, I like to talk about practicality and I'm, I'm not just gonna talk about features and specs. Some people wanna know how many liters of cargo space and that kind of doesn't really matter. It matters how you fit things in and what you do to actually use the car. And I've been to car things where the manufacturers tell us, oh, it's got this feature, it's got that feature, but it really doesn't matter, matter to the average consumer. If we're talking cargo space, we need to talk about what you're doing with that cargo space. So let's assume I'm carrying all kinds of stuff. It's a snowy, wintry day, there's ice on the ground, and I want the tailgate to just open on its own. Now I can do that a couple ways. I can hit my button on my key fob, which is in my pocket right now. In some of our competitors' cars, you wave your foot underneath the car, which seems like a terrible idea in snowy and icy conditions. With our cars, it's great. All you do, and you can set this up, you can turn it on or off. If you don't want it to do this, it doesn't have to, but I've set it up. It's called our smart tailgate. You approach the trunk, you'll see it's gonna beep five times in three seconds. I didn't do anything other than stand very close to the back of the car and it opens on its own. So I'm still carrying my stuff. I've never touched anything. I haven't scratched the paint with the salt that's on there in the middle of winter and I can drop my stuff in here without any problem, without ever touching the outside of the car. It's a great feature. You can turn it on, you can turn it off, and it's called a smart tailgate. And it really is smart. You, you won't set it off accidentally. If you're concerned about setting it off accidentally, you can turn the system off, but it is, it is a really good system. And a lot of our cars have it. So ask about that smart trunk, smart tailgate, depending on which kind of vehicle you're getting. So here we go, typical minivan backside. Uh, let's just pull them up. Everything's numbered, so it's pretty easy to do. I'm gonna tilt that. I'm gonna tilt the headrest up there as well. There you go, seats are up. You've got a deep storage well. Can you fit a human being in there? Yes, you can. Now it's a nine passenger vehicle. Eight people legally, one person illegally. But if you wanna escape your kids sometime, you just you know smart tailgate that thing back down with your key fob, you can hide from them, they'll never find you. Great system. Not that I'm saying I'd ever use it, but I think this is why my wife won't let me buy a minivan. Anyways, moving on. How do you get the seats down? Pretty simply. I put the headrest down first, that was easy to do. Then you start backwards, you count backwards. So this is no pull number two. And when I say number two, on the actual strap, it says number two. And then, so you pull that, then you pull this one, it's number one. I'm gonna do it with two fingers, just because I wanna show that it doesn't require a lot of strength. So you just pull it up, roll it back gently, push this down on the floor, and it locks in. 
Now you've got a flat floor there. I'll move the camera closer, we'll do the same thing with the larger seat. All right, here's the larger seat, same thing, I'm gonna put the headrest down, you just pinch the uh, piece right there, pinch this one right here, whoops, there we go. Both the headrests are down, now you've got a nice flat uh, top there. This strap is labeled number two, it even says to recline seat back only, so you know exactly what you're doing. Pull that, it folds flat like that, and again, you can use that space. If we put this one back up, you can use that space as storage, but we're gonna pull it down again, push down in the floor, same thing, pull up on here, you just pull it straight up. You don't have to pull it back so much, pull it straight up, push it in the floor, and there you go. Flat floor right to the middle row. Now again, I'm gonna jump to the middle row while we're here. Open the door here. I'm gonna roll this seat all the way forward, and I'm gonna flop the seat forward. Now you've got tons of space here. Now, how much space? Again, I'm six feet tall. Um, I could lay down, I could stretch out. I mean, have we got eight feet? Not quite, but we've got plenty of space. So there you go, awkward gymnastics to show you how the seats work in the Kia Sedona. So as I close up this video, I'm also gonna close up the Sedona right now. And as I do that, if you have questions about anything that we sell, the reason we make these videos is to try to earn your business, but feel free to talk to us in the comments section. We want you to understand your vehicle, to understand the features that are available to it, and that's why we make these videos, to help you out and to hopefully earn your business. So if you like this video, give us a like. Feel free to leave us a comment if you have questions or just tell us we did a great job. That'd be great. If you want to see more, let my bosses know by telling us in the comments section. And thanks everybody for watching.